This is a demonstration of one-way ANOVA on SPSS. The independent variable is named group. It's a type of teaching method. The dependent variable is exam. That's the exam result in an end-of-course exam. First, we need to check that the distribution of the DV within the groups is normal to within the uh, accepted limits. To do that, we go into Analyze, Descriptives, Explore, and we'll do the kolmogorov smirnov test for normality. This is the box, exam, goes into the dependent list and group into the factor list. We press the plots button and check normality plots with tests. Continue. And the output shows that there is no departure from normality because none of these values is significant. We can now proceed to do the one-way ANOVA, which is accessed through Analyze, Compare Means, One-Way ANOVA. Exam is placed in the dependent variables list and group into the single box of the factor list. The one further thing to do is to check for is to check for homogeneity of variance, which I need to tick this box. That's because homogeneity of variance is an assumption in one way or another. And the output, this box here, test of homogeneity of variance, shows that the assumption is not violated because the significance level is not less than 0 0.05. So we can read the output box here and discover that the result is significant. In order to get anything else out of these statistics, we need to do some pairwise comparisons between the individual groups. Knowing that the ANOVA is significant merely tells us that there is a difference between the groups. It doesn't tell us which ones are different from which other ones. To do that, we need to go back into the ANOVA box and we need to do some post hoc comparisons. Given that equal variances may be assumed, because Levine's test was not significant, I'm going to use one of the tests in this box, which is, in this case, the Tukey test, which is a standard one. And I'm going to do this again. And we're going to find now that the pairwise comparisons, group 1 with group 2, is significant. So is group 1 with group 3, and indeed group 2 with group 3. They're all significant. This means that the difference between the groups, the, the score of 50 for the punishment group, group 1, and 56 for group 2, that that is a significant difference. Also, the difference between the 56 for group 2 and the 65 for group 3 is also significant. If you wish to do so, you can visualize these differences using the plots button which is accessed under Option. If you press Means Plot, you will get a line graph. And that is the line graph illustrating the difference between the means. Punishment is down here, and different style of teaching is here, and the reward style of teaching here. And that is the basics of doing a one-way ANOVA.